Okay, so you've probably just finished the intro, and uh, what we're going to do, first of all, is we're going to open up a new browser, and we're going to head over to um, github.com forward slash Mike Hawk CF, where you'll see this, and then we're going to go here, and this is our training package. Okay, so our running is the basics, the commands, the config, the change, the hooks, the data, and the finale. All these things are already up whilst I'm uh, going through. They've been up for three days, and uh, we're going to run through them together. Okay. Right, first things first. We're going to right-click on Rust plugin. Oops. We're going to uh, go to add, and we're going to go to a new item. We're going to use a new class, and we're going to add that in. Okay. We're going to now. If you do this on Mac, it will ask you what you want to call it. So we're going to rename this, and we're going to call this the title of the show: uh, the basics. like to change everything to the basics. And we're going to go like this, we're going to delete everything. Okay, let's start. First things first, namespace. Namespace is uh, Oxide, capital, R, uh, capital, o, capital O, dot plugins, capital P. And when it comes up with suggestions like that, you can press tab and it will autocomplete. Then we're going to put some brackets in, and we're going to move those brackets apart so that we can see what we're doing. Okay, first thing we're going to do is we're going to uh, name our plugin. So uh, we're going to write info capital I uh, bracket quotation. Okay, and this plugin is called the basics. We've already named it in the title, so we're going to call it the basics. Don't change it. Okay, the basics. And then after this quotation, I'm going to put a comma in, and I'm put the author name, which is me. And then after that, I'm going to put in a version number. So this is going to be uh, 0.01. Oops. 0.1. Please, right, this is an integer. Okay. What I don't want you doing, what I don't want you doing is I don't want you putting 0.001 because that doesn't make any sense. As an integer, it would be read as 0.01. Okay. If you put 0 0.001, like that, then uh, it won't make any sense at all. Okay, let's zoom this in so we can see. So, doing this, this zero here, that makes no sense, okay? Most update, uh, update plugins will try and read um, that extra zero, and it will fail, okay? Anyway. And uh, then we're going to write. What's wrong with you? Bracket the basics. Bracket, comma, bracket, comma, bracket, comma. Yeah, you're fine. Okay. Then we're going to open up a class. And guess what the class name is? It's going to be called the basics. Okay. Try and keep the pl class the same. And we're going to go comma, or colon, sorry. And we're going to call it a rust. Okay. Right. Now we can work with our class. So here's our class. There's nothing in it. Ooh, that's nice. I moved my foot and uh, my microphone buzzed. So there's nothing in it at the moment, and this little suggestion thing will go mental because there is nothing. There. Um, so, right, let's um, add some code. So this is the basics. This is how you name your plugin. You add your title and uh, you put in your version number. The class needs to be the same as the title and the title and the class need to be the same as the file name. Okay, simple as. So um, the most basic bit of code that we can use uh, uh, at the moment is void init with a capital I init. And this is something that is run when the server is initialized. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put in a standard um, debug, which is puts with a capital P, um, and puts uh, 
we made our first bucket. And then we're going to finish it off. Semicolon. And that's it. That's a running. That's a running plugin. If you drop that now into your plugins folder, Archon will chuck out that this we made our first plugin. Okay. What we'll do is I will open up one SCP and I will log in. I will not upgrade. And I will uh, log in. And uh, let's see if my server's actually on. That might help. Go on, log in. Yeah, I don't think it is. Let's get, uh, let's get my server. Okay, the server is up, so let's go across and let's get our plugin in. So, uh, it tends to be in here, in your, um, uh, users folder, and then sources, repos, and then uh, Rust plugins, Rust plugins, and there is the basics. Okay, so if we drop the basics in, we should get it loading, and then it says puts. We made with a couple of a for some reason our first plugin. So there we are. The the plugin works. Okay, as you can see. And then if we save that and just re-upload. Plugin. There we are. Fantastic. Okay. So um, that's the basics. If you go onto the GitHub, you will see that uh, one of them says basics. Um, you have the basics W notes, which is with notes, and then there's uh, the basics W O notes. Okay. If you go into the one with notes, you'll see a lot of uh, random notes. Anything that has two slashes in front of it is a note and is not read by the code. Okay, So you can put as many notes as you want. You can write the whole bloody Harry Potter novel, novel in if you want. As long as it's got two slashes in front of it, it won't be read at all. Okay, So that's the basics. Fantastic. 